The new Internet Web 3.0 is surprising us with its innovation, and it will be too good to be true to imagine how the world of tech will be as per Web 3.0. For this reason, in this video, we're going to tell you what Web 3.0 innovation is all about. But before we start, please like and subscribe to this channel, and then sit back and relax. It's hard to imagine that more than three decades have passed since the invention of the internet in 1990, when the first consumer-ready version was born. It was Web 1.0, a connected repository of unsearchable web pages with very limited interactivity. Fifteen years later, a new, more democratic social web based on user-generated content became popular. Meanwhile, there was talk of the possibility of a new internet that would be able to establish connections between online assets to offer users a much more satisfying experience. Today, that same vision of a new internet is rapidly gaining popularity under the name of Web 3.0, backed by more than 30 years of innovation. Web 3.0 Innovation what is it all about? Find out everything about the technology that promises to change the world in a few years. For many, Web 2.0 is not yet a clear concept, and Web 3.0 innovation is already arriving. What is it all about? There is a lot of confusion about it. Some also wonder what is different from what we already know. What are its benefits? How will it change us? Will it help the tech industry? So to clarify all these questions, we have created this article with the most up-to-date information on the web. Five questions about Web 3.0 innovation to understand what it is about. What is Web 3.0? Web 3.0 is the third generation of internet services for websites and applications that focuses on the use of a data-driven and semantic web. The creation of websites that are smarter, more connected, and more open is Web 3.0's ultimate goal. Web 3.0 is a new generation of machine-based technology to create increasingly advanced and intelligent websites that can write our immediate future. This technology is in full development, but there is already talk of the benefits it will bring and what the transition from Web 2.0 to 3.0 will be like. This technology is known to be dependent on current systems, and its developers are trying to get some of its features incorporated into artifacts we are currently using to make the transition much more palatable. In this sense, today we can find household appliances with artificial intelligence and wireless connection, widely used, applying in a very subtle way the systems that will be expanded once Web 3.0 is implemented. When was Web 3.0 created? Web 3.0 was not born out of anywhere. There is a long history behind it that goes back to Web 1.0. These were static informational sites where no feedback arose. This gave way to Web 2.0 in the middle of a transition that lasted approximately 10 years. With it, an endless number of systems were implanted in our society that allows users to share information, entertain themselves, buy and interact. In addition to this, in recent years we have been presented with more advanced intuitive and connected technologies to our needs. This is how today we have the opportunity to live with systems like Siri or Alexa. Using artificial intelligence and voice recognition, we have taken leaps and bounds toward that long-awaited future. But besides artificial intelligence, there is much more to Web 3.0 today. It is blockchain technology which will be much more tied to Web 3.0 once it is fully installed. What are the benefits of Web 3.0? In Web 3.0, significant changes will arise that will especially impact the way we function in networks and the Internet. Some of its benefits only the following. It turns networks into more secure sites thanks to the decentralization of data. It gives users full control of their web experience. The user experience can be further customized. It expands the buying and selling networks through artificial intelligence. And lastly, it offers a uniform distribution of data and efficient information service. Web 3.0 Features In the new network, called Web 3.0, the main feature is the decentralization of data. This has been the factor that has motivated the creation of the new technology and for which thousands of industries are waiting to be accommodated in the new network. But this is not the only outstanding feature we can also mention. It integrates artificial intelligence with the semantic web, 
so that we will access information focused on our interests even before we know that we want it, improves data transmission and responsiveness, ensures data security and network efficiency. It is not controlled by the government or companies. It connects with blockchain technology. And in Web 3.0, you can always use a VPN for free because there will no longer be the issue of geographic restrictions or government blocks. What is the importance of Web 3.0? The implementation of Web 3.0 will mean transparent communication processes and will give the user control of what he wants to disclose about himself. In a few words, everything that was wrong in terms of user data will be resolved and e-democracy can be achieved. Likewise, it will allow the use of blockchain technology to be expanded and give way to a new world economy in which everything will be public and accessible. Finally, Web 3.0 will mean important changes in the industry since it is expected that from now on everything around us will involve artificial intelligence with wireless connection. Now, let's check the five defining features of Web 3. Web 3.0 is defined by the following key features and characteristics, as well as its semantic architecture. Ubiquity. Web 3.0 means that internet access is universal and ubiquitous in all regions, networks, and devices. Right now, we mainly use computers and smartphones for online activities, and in some cases, industrial handheld devices. In the future, the connectivity and interaction with each device will skyrocket by making Web 3.0 available through smart home appliances, AR, VR equipment, IoT interfaces, smart cars, etc. This will also require a new generation of web browsers. Open Source This Web 3.0 feature is somewhat more difficult to achieve. Today, the Internet is overwhelmingly controlled by a handful of large companies and tech conglomerates acting as gatekeepers to data and algorithmic processes. The new internet is based on an open source architecture, which anyone can use, modify, monetize, and extend without restrictions. This in turn also encourages more accountability as peer reviews will become more common. Incentivization of users and creators. Web 3.0 will seek a better balance in the economy of creators. Currently, there are few checks and balances on how online creators are compensated for their work, with a small percentage often receiving a disproportionate share of the incentives. Meanwhile, the concept of user incentivization does not exist at all. For example, users can be rewarded with tokens or cryptocurrency for voluntarily sharing their data to maintain transparency. This kind of clear incentive will be an important part of the Web 3.0 experience to drive accountability from all stakeholders. Decentralization and interoperability. Finally, Web 3.0 will not be controlled by any organization or group of organizations and will be fully decentralized thanks to the blockchain architecture. Users, creators, and all online entities would exist on a connected spectrum that would be decentralized through a purpose-built protocol. Web 3.0 is not just a theoretical concept limited to science fiction or academic experiments. It is becoming more and more established in our reality. The greatest work that remains to be done for the new internet to consolidate is undoubtedly compliance with the protocols, which will ultimately give Web 3.0 the kind of universality that our current web enjoys. Possibly, at the end of this decade, we will already be able to say that we are navigating Web 3.0. Taking into account the information described above on Web 3.0 innovation, what is it about? We understand that this new technology will revolutionize not only communications, but also the global economy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, the subscription button, and the notification bell. To get notified when new videos are uploaded from this channel, please share your thoughts about Web 3.0 innovation. What is it all about? In the comments section below. Thank you.